subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Malayan Water Monitor. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, I'm trying to get better at swimming, but it's not fun practicing alone. Why don't we swim together? You go first, Hero. Wow, you're a natural hero. Maybe I should try it your way. Ah, it's a crocodile. There's a small crocodile in the pool. Boy, that was scary. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. So if it's not a crocodile, what is it? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a water monitor. There are different types of water monitors, and the one in our pool is a Malayan water monitor. I see. Still, it sure looks like a crocodile. It's easy to mistake water monitors for crocodiles, especially when they're in the water. But if you look closely, they are quite different. Water monitors have a shorter snout and a longer, thinner tail as compared to crocodiles. But like crocodiles, water monitors are often found near water and are excellent swimmers. This is because the long, powerful tails of water monitors are used to propel them through the water. Wow! Maybe I should learn how to improve my swimming from a water monitor. <laughs> Don't get too close, though. Water monitors will defend themselves if they feel threatened. I see. So, what kind of food do water monitors eat? They eat small animals, fish, and birds. But if they want to, they can eat anything they can swallow. Yikes! I don't think the water monitor belongs here. What if it eats all the animals in our garden? Well, normally, Malayan water monitors don't live in gardens. They live in forests in different countries in South and Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Hmm. I think we should return the water monitor to its natural home in the forest. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. I'm sure the water monitor would be happy to go back home. See you downstairs. There are too many rocks on this bank for the water monitor to dig its home. Look, Leo. What about the bank on the other side? Hmm, that looks like a good place, Katie. There aren't as many rocks over there. Come on, everyone. Let's go over there. Here we go. happening, Hero? Let me take a look. A large fishing hook pierced the float. We need to get the hook out and fix the float. Leave the fishing hook to me, Leo. Good luck, Katie. There. But we're losing a lot of air. If we don't fix the float, the Jeep will sink. We have to cover the hole. What can we use? The water monitor covered the hole by sitting on it. Thanks, water monitor. Great. Let's head to the riverbank. We made it. Good work, water monitor. Goodbye, little friend. 
We did it! We found the water monitor's home! Great job, everyone! Yay! Yay! Today, we found a Malayan water monitor in our garden. We learned that water monitors live in forests where they build their homes near water. So we went to a riverbank in the forest and found its home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow-eyed penguin. What's the matter, Hero? Did your name sign fall off? Oh, hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> oh yeah, the name sign. Don't worry, Hero. I'm sure we can fix it. Hey, was that a penguin? I think it likes your doghouse, Hero. <coughs> Shh! I think you're scaring it, Hero. Hi, penguin. Don't worry about Hero. He won't bite. Oh, you have yellow eyes. This must be a very special penguin. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Don't be shy, penguin. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. This penguin is called a yellow-eyed penguin. It is one of the rarest penguins in the world. That means there aren't many of them left. Yellow-eyed penguins are only found in parts of New Zealand and some islands around it. Wow, so we're very lucky to meet one. What do they eat? Yellow-eyed penguins eat fish and squid, which they catch in the sea. However, their natural home is in the forests of New Zealand. So after a day out at sea, they return to their nests deep in the forests. Since yellow-eyed penguins are endangered, it's important that they have more babies. That's why this penguin should live in a place where there are other yellow-eyed penguins. Which means we should take it home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Leo, there are two yellow-eyed penguins there. They are making the loud calls Ranger Rocky told us about. A yellow-eyed penguin is shouting too. The people here call the yellow-eyed penguin hoi ho, which means noise shouter. So they call them hoi hos. Hey, what's that? Oh no, there are two tourists over there. And they are taking photos. The penguins are running away. They must have been frightened by the camera flashes. Leo, we have to stop them from coming too close to the penguins. Hero, where are you going? There he is. Maybe we can use sticks to build a fence. A fence could stop the tourists from coming closer to the penguins. Hmm, no. That would take much too long. Yeah, you're right. I know. Do you have markers, Leo? Yes, I do. Here. Hero, I think we'll need one more stick. Great idea, Katie. Let me help you. There. That should do it. And there's Hero, just in time. Yes, it's working. Hooray! Look, the penguins are coming back. 
Look, there's another penguin. It must be our penguin's mate. We did it. We found the yellow-eyed penguin's home. Great job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! a yellow-eyed penguin in our garden. We learned that the yellow-eyed penguin is rare and endangered and that they live in the forest. So we took it back to its home where it can be safe. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Atlantic Puffin. everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote controlled car. I can make the car move using this controller. I can make the car go round in circles. I can make the car drive in a figure eight. I can make the car drive really far away and I can make it drive back again. It's a bird. Where did you come from? I've never seen a bird like this before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Yes, I did, Leo. The bird you found is an Atlantic puffin. Atlantic puffins can be recognized by their colorful beaks. Like most birds, Atlantic puffins can fly, but they can also swim underwater using their wings and webbed feet. The Atlantic puffin is a fast swimmer and can stay underwater for up to a minute. The Atlantic puffin mostly eats small fish such as herring and sand eels. Atlantic puffins can catch several small fish in one dive. They use their tongue to hold fish in their mouth, so they leave their beaks free to catch even more fish. That's amazing! I've never seen such a bird before. Where does it come from? Atlantic puffins come from far up north. They live on sea coasts and islands around the Atlantic Ocean. More than half of the world's Atlantic puffins are found around Iceland. About 8 to 10 million puffins live there. That's a lot of puffins. So our puffin is a really long way from Iceland. And it's too hot for it to stay here. We should bring it back home. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Here we are. I don't see any puffin nests around here. Maybe we can find some below the cliff. Let me take a closer look. Whoa! Leo! Leo! Um, I could use some help, Katie. I can't reach you, Leo. Let me get a rope. Hang on. Oh no! There's no rope in the jeep! Leo, I can't find a... rope? I have rope in my backpack, remember? Can you throw one end of the rope? I... I don't think so, Katie. One wrong move and I'll fall. Oh no! What can we do now? <laughs> oh! Hi, Puffin! Thank you, Puffin. Now we can pull Leo up. 
Why don't you use the Jeep? That's much huh? easier. Great. Katie already had the same idea. Ranger Rocky. You should be more careful, Junior Ranger. Cliff edges can be unstable or very slippery, so stay away from them. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. Well, at least you're safe now, Leo. Yeah. Look, it's the Puffin's partner. We did it. We found the Puffin's nest. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found an Atlantic Puffin in our garden. We learned that Atlantic Puffins return to the same nest every year to breed. So we went to Iceland to help the Puffin find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers.